Oh boy, guys. Another one begins. Another road to something. This is the road to 500. Man, guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this series because you guys were so pumped about the road to 700 deadlift. You guys followed along. You guys did your own journeys. And once again, we're doing the exact same thing. So this is the road to a 500 pound bench press. Yes, yes, yes it is a big number. It's a huge number. But I've, I've tickled around that number, kind of, you know, I've hovered around that number about 100 pounds less, let's put it that way. <laughs> now I've realized that this is going to be no easy task. Uh, I broke my wrist uh, last year in the summertime and uh, it still isn't 100%. That's the way wrists work. They just, they don't heal up that quickly. Um, but this series, The Road to 500, isn't just about me. I want you guys to get involved. I want you guys to be involved in this series with me. And so I want you guys to set a goal. Set a realistic goal. Now, back in July, Mark Bell visited me and we got up to about 405, 415 pounds on the bench. And that felt solid. And we got it up at a nice speed and everything. So what I'm trying to do is set what I think is a realistic goal trying to bench almost 100 pounds more than my current, what I think is my current max. And so I want you guys to do the same. So if like, if your max right now is 150, 200 pounds, or let's say two plates, 225, don't start saying you're going to bench 500 pounds because that is just not realistic. Set a realistic goal that you can achieve, let's say in three or four months. But if you don't know that number now, you have to figure out your max. So if you haven't figured out your max, that's what we're gonna do in this episode today. I don't know what my max is right now. In August, when I was traveling around going on a crazy adventure that I still can't talk about, I dropped 20 pounds in body weight. Naturally, I dropped some strength as well. Since I've been back for the past week, I've been feasting nonstop, I've been eating, I've been trying to put on the calories, put on the pounds in, in preparation for the start of this series. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna find out what my max is right now and see what we're working with and see how far I have to climb to get to that 500 pound. So let's get started. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hold on one second, don't move. All right, so I guess we want a lot more action, um, and there will be a lot more action, but let me just go through a couple more housekeeping rules, I guess. The entire series, Road to 500, will not just be filmed here. It'll be filmed in multiple gyms. And as I'm traveling, because I am a traveler uh, for a lot of work, there'll be a lot of, well, workouts happening in different countries around the world. Um, but we are starting off the series here. There may be a new bench here uh, for two reasons. One, because of the actual, the height uh, between pins is a little bit, well, it's a little bit off. Um, or, whereas I just prefer like, for example, I want the height for bench to be between the points seven and eight. Um, and two, uh, for safety purposes, I want something a little bit more sturdy for the bench press. Uh, so you might see something a little bit different later on. So as I said, I'm going to be 100% transparent through this entire series. We're gonna go over food. We're gonna be eating throughout this entire series. Uh, we're gonna be lifting, we're gonna be traveling, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna be venting. Hell, we'll even have a beer because we're not cutting right now. We're getting stronger. That is the goal of the series, to get stronger. Uh, Winter is coming soon. We don't need to worry about cutting right now. We, we need to worry about getting stronger and getting bigger beards, of course. Obviously, I'm gonna be using supplements from the Furious Formulations line. Uh, I'm drinking right now Goku Gains. Get that pre-workout in me. Brand new flavor, Sugar Clouds. Uh, and I'm gonna be using uh, our brand new Aminos Baby. Uh, this is our BCAA formula. This is our intro workout. So as I'm moving more and more weight, this is definitely gonna help me with recovery. All these products I mentioned are going to be in the description below. But as always, I say, do your research. Make sure that this is the right product for you. And if you do pick it up, 
please provide some feedback. We're always open to feedback, whether you like the flavors, the formula, everything. We do appreciate the feedback. Um, but anyways, let's get right into it. Let's see what my max is at. We'll do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of get going. Let's, let's see what my max is at. Um, I, I'm really very, very curious as I wanna see what 20 pounds in weight drop does to my overall strength, so. All right, the bar is up. Time to toss a scoop of the strawberry margarita madness into my shaker. Get that mixed up, and we're gonna start benching. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can do 45 pounds. I totally recommend always starting with the bar. Some people go into the gym, and you know, it's their call. Uh, they'll start off with like 135 right away. They'll just put a plate on. But I feel like you wanna get the exact kind of bar path settled before you actually get some weight on. Um, just so you know exactly what you're gonna be doing bench press wise. Now keep in mind, I am not going to be doing some arching or anything like that. I'm gonna be doing totally conventional bench press. Um, so there won't be like, I won't have like my ass here and like a big, big arch right here. It's strictly going to be me flat on the bench, doing this bench. Uh, so when I do 500 and I say when, I don't say if, I say when, um, I'm going to be completely flat and uh, just go for it. Melissa says it's called hitching. Well, I don't know. I... Is it called hitching? Apparently it's called hitching. When you deadlift, it's hitching. It's hitching? It's hitching when you deadlift. It's hitching when, it's, when you're what? When you deadlift, it's yeah. hitching. And then any sort of like hip movement is that not like, you know when you do this, it's like, uh, uh, uh. When you hitch the bar up. So just like this, like, uh, uh, uh. No? So we moved up to 315 and uh, I haven't tried this way in a month and a half. It's been a little while so um, we're going to be very careful. This, this is the point where we get a spotter. Um, I'm pretty confident with the other weights. I don't have clips on. So if I failed and the bar did actually fall down, I could kind of just lean it to one side, the plates would fall off and then I would lean it to the other side and the plates would fall off. So that, that is my method all the way up to here. So now I'll have a spotter. Uh, I do recommend getting some wrist wraps once you get up to this weight. I'm using the Furious Wraps uh, Elite Edition for the entire series um, because they, they do provide a lot of support, especially when getting to that heavier, heavier weight. Um, so I am gonna stick with these. Uh, obviously you can use whatever wraps that you want for, for, uh, for your goals and everything, but that's what I'm using for this one. Ultimately, I don't think we're gonna hit 400 pounds today. I think that's gonna take probably just another two weeks. Uh, reason being, muscle memory is, is amazing, and as you're starting to gain uh, more weight back on your body, you'll, you'll be able to hit the weights that you were hitting a couple months ago. So if our baseline ends up being much lower, that's not really going to be a huge concern. So anyways, gotta get uh, my wraps on, my mouthpiece in, and Maldiva behind the bar. Yeah. Oh. All 
right guys, well final set on the table, on the bench, on the rack, whatever you want to call it, final set, um, I'm going to try 375, and I know that is a ways away from my goal, but I know my body, I know my body, and I know how it works, you know, when, I, when I'm away, uh, when I travel, my strength goes down, and then when I come back and I start eating, and I can start eating regularly, I can start training regularly, my strength goes back up. So um, I expect to go up 40 pounds in the next three weeks uh, on this bench and, and progress from there. Um, maybe, maybe even, who knows? Who knows how much, but you guys will see the series and you guys will see me progressing. Um, so I'm going for 375. Um, that would be 125 pounds away from my goal. And yes, it's an aggressive goal as a result. 125 pounds to gain in strength is a lot, but I feel like we can do it. Um, if you guys are gonna be ambitious about your goals and you guys are gonna work hard for your goals, then I'm gonna do that as well. Time to wrap up and see if we can get this one up. Let's do it. Can I do it? You can do No rep, no rep. You guys saw my ass going up at the end. No good, no good, no good. Um, I'm okay with that, 365 is okay. Um, truth be told, I a week ago, I came home a week ago uh, from not working out and everything, so I'm, it's gotta slowly progress. Maybe I was a little bit ambitious starting this road to 500. Doesn't matter, uh, we're, we're, going, we're going, we're starting. Um, time to eat, time to eat. Food is going to be the name of the game. If my food game is not on par, is it not above par, I should say, um, then I'm not going to get the gains. Aldiva being my, um, my spotter, my only spotter, really. Um, what did you just tell me? Well, because I wasn't sure, we, we should have communicated this a little bit better, was when we take the bar out of the rack, how much reality do you want me to give you? Um, for, of the weight because I was capable of lifting it off the rack a lot more than I did and I didn't know if I if I were to take like you know let, uh, more of the weight on me mm -hmm. into your setup that it would make you have like an oh shit moment right and realize like this is a lot heavier than I than it felt coming right. out of the rack right so, so Next time, um, I'm gonna have Mel just help me a little bit more because it does like, if you're like, and especially with the bar height right now, I actually have to push it up higher. Um, so I'm almost doing like, I'm almost just like starting a rep before I start the rep. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like starting a rep and I'm already exerting force and energy. And concerning the fact that I wanna um, accumulate and save up as much energy as possible until my rep, you know, that, that really takes it out of you. It takes it out of you, like everything counts. Everything counts, especially if I'm doing that for every single set. You know, that adds up to multiple reps at the end of the day. So, um, the next time, I'm definitely gonna get Mel to, to help out a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll get some, like, even other people to help out. I mean, for the 500, I need at You're least- I'm not going your week. I just, I just say, you know, more friends is more fun. More, more friends is more fun. More friends is more fun. Um, but when I do get to the higher weights, uh, I want two or maybe three spotters, and you'll have them like on the sides here and in the back because, I mean, things can go sideways really, really fast. Um, and so that is our max for today. Um, maybe I could have gotten 375. Who knows? Um, but we got it out. We got we figured out like roughly where we're at right now, and that that makes me happy. That makes that's good. And communication is key with your spotter, and much like communication is key with your fiance. What? 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 All right. So 
Time to make a little bit of a meal. Got some uh, red peppers here. Kind of just went straight into the meal. I got chicken strips. Uh, these are cooked up chicken breasts that I did on the barbecue um, yesterday. Diced them up. Got some red peppers. If you don't know how to cut peppers up, watch a cooking show or I don't even know. But anyways, put all that together. Let that cook up. I got a little, I got some rice right there. So we're gonna serve that up all together. Mix it all together, very, very straightforward. We got our carbs, we got our proteins, um, and then we got some peppers for one flavor and uh, some vitamin C. We're almost done here. Uh, a couple more minutes, crisp things up just a little bit more and we'll be good to go. Now very quickly gonna go over Amino's Baby as I didn't do a standalone video about this product or anything like that. I did that with Goku Gains and I figured I would just include it in this video and as I'm going to be using this product throughout the series uh, just so you are well aware as to what is inside. So there's currently three flavors. We got Grape Bubble Trouble, Lemon Mother Pucker, and Strawberry Margarita Madness. Inside you'll find six grams of BCAAs plus two grams of glutamine, so you get eight grams of aminos inside. Then we got a dose of Spectra Green, so that means you get a nice dose of greens in your shake. And then we got an ingredient in there called Cherry Pure, which is tart cherry extract. Now this acts as an anti-inflammatory, it helps re with recovery. There's a lot of really cool research behind this ingredient. Basically it can speed up your recovery and let you get back into the gym just much more recovered. Again, like any supplements out there that you may purchase, do your research, make sure it is the right product for you. This is Amino's Baby, I love the product, I think you guys are going to love the formula. It is available in the description below. And there's an introductory price offer, so a tub costs you 25 bucks and you get all three for 60, so that ends up being $20 a tub, which is a bargain. Anyways guys, let's sit down and chow down. So I'm sitting outside here, um, this will probably be one of the last opportunities that I get to sit outside and enjoy um, a little bit of sun before the great Canadian winter uh, comes upon us. And so I'm enjoying my meal. Got my aminos, I'm drinking the strawberry margarita. And um, like I said, I got rice, I got chicken, and I got peppers. And um, I truly feel like this is the kind of meals that give me the most fuel. Everyone's different. But when I'm gaining strength, I do like high carb meals around my workouts, especially before and after. Um, other than that, I do like to stick to more of a high protein, high fat diet. Um, I'm not going keto clearly, that's just how I structure my, uh, my diet and uh, just basically around my workouts. If I need to uh, train hard, I'm going to eat hard. Um, and it's not just before the workout. And that's something that I think is very important to, um, to discuss is the fact that some people think that they need the best pre-workout meal in order to have a good workout. No, the fact is your diet needs to be in check for 24 hours to 48 hours before that workout in order to have a good workout because your food will be digesting within your body for many, many hours. So if you have a really big meal the night before, um, full of carbs and all that, it will still give you energy uh, for a workout in the mid-afternoon, for example, or in the morning. So that's really important to keep in mind. Some people always think, oh, uh, post-workout is the most important meal. No, it's your entire diet put together. It's everything that you're eating all day long and every single day. That is the most important. Everything has to be balanced. Everything has to be put in place. Everything has to be put in place and everything has to be in check. Now, obviously, throughout this entire series, we're gonna be showing some meals. We're gonna be doing a little bit of cheat meals. Um, I think that's really important, especially for strength gain and size gain because with strength will come size. I feel like I need to add on probably another 20, 20 pounds to my body frame, maybe even 30 pounds in order to achieve that 500 pound mark. But as I said, guys, it's the road to 500 and this is a series for all of us to achieve our goals. Therefore, if you guys have any questions or if you guys want me to add things to each series, each series episode, please just comment down below and let me know because I want you guys to be excited about it. I want you guys to come back for more and get the information that you guys want. Again, I'm going to be including videos on this main channel probably every two weeks and on the vlog channel as often as I possibly can. You guys can see 
other training because obviously I'm not going to be just doing bench press. I'm going to be focusing on bench press and getting stronger in bench. I wanna make sure all my other lifts also don't just decline and, and go away. I wanna make sure that I, I focus on them because I wanna make sure my total keeps growing because ultimately my goal at the end of all of this after I do my next road series with squats is to do a powerlifting meet and see how high my total really is. Anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna keep chowing down. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Make sure you guys do subscribe to my vlog channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and click that little bell button beside the subscription button to get notifications as to when I upload another video. Again, thanks for your support. Check out all my links in the description below. We'll catch you guys next time. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. Boom!